This is just a small little disclaimer. In light of what has come to light, I suppose, about Book Outlet, I just wanted to make it very, very clear that this will be my absolute last bulk purchase or pretty much purchase of any sort from Book Outlet. I do not support Book Outlet moving forward. I do not believe in this company any longer, and I will no longer be featuring them on my channel. I will leave in the description box below a list of Black-owned bookstores that you can support throughout different states, and if your state is not included, then I do believe that some of these stores do support online orders. I would also like to say that this haul was filmed weeks ago before the book outlet scandal as well as the books were actually purchased months ago towards the beginning of quarantine okay that's it and hope you enjoy Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oshale and you're watching Oshi Reads. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm super, super hyped and excited for this video. It's been so long, y'all, since I filmed a book haul. I cannot remember the last time that I filmed a book haul, but I will post my book haul playlist right here. I used to be known for my book hauls on this channel. They were all so epic and amazing and exciting. And one of my no buy rules for this year was to not buy any more books or at least to kind of curtail my book buying. And I came up with a specific rule, blah, blah, blah. If you want to hear all that, um, please go watch my no buy year video right here. Click on that to know all the details. But essentially, I put myself on somewhat of a book buying ban and then a pandemic hit. <laughs> And we went into quarantine and I needed something. I was reading a ton, so I still didn't really break my rules for book buying. I'm very hard. I'm very proud to say, but all of that is completely irrelevant at this point. I have a book haul to show you all and I have not opened this yet. You have to understand the willpower that I have exhibited by not opening these boxes, okay? They were delivered at some point early last week so that means I have been sitting on these packages for a week, probably over a week, waiting for the perfect time to film this. I'm gonna unbox it all for you, so stay tuned and let's get into the haul. The first package I have here is from Book of the Month. Now I know, I know, I said I canceled my Book of the Month subscription. And you know, unbeknownst to me, I actually put it on hold. And before the pandemic, they had this whole thing on Book of the Month where you put your subscription on hold and if you wanted to cancel, you had to call, but you could put it on hold for up to three months. So at the beginning of the year, I put it on hold and I always had it in my mind that I was gonna call to cancel before the hold was up, but then the pandemic hit, everything went crazy and I completely forgot. And before I knew it, I had a charge on my account for another credit because the hold expired after March and I had completely forgotten that I was gonna call to cancel. And then of course, also with the pandemic, there was no way to successfully call and actually get through to someone and speak to someone to cancel. So I went ahead and used my last credit. And then thankfully, I think also because of the pandemic, they'd updated their website so you could actually just click a button and actually just cancel from the site without having to call someone if they had only done that in the first place. But it's okay, it's okay, because now I have another book out of it and I think I'm actually happy about this because this book had been on my radar for releases of this year. So let's open it up. As always, I have my handy dandy scissors. You know, I say I'm, I'm gonna miss book of the month, or, I, or rather I said I wasn't gonna miss book of the month, but I think I am going to a little bit, you know, but I will probably go back to it at some point. I am just determined to actually catch up on reading all of my book of the month books first, you know, before I add. Okay. Y'all know I've always suffered with opening these boxes. Here we are. So I just have to get the plastic off. Bear with me. I have it 
right here, ready to show. Of course, it comes with the obligatory bookmark and cardstock. And here we are. I chose Farrah Rashawn's The Boyfriend Project. So I've been seeing a lot of positive buzz about this. It was on my radar, like I said, for releases this year. So I'm happy to have this in my hands. Essentially, this is about a girl who uh, was being catfished, I think. Or there was something about catfishing. Let's see. Why play by love's rules when you can make your own? Samira Brooks never thought she would be that girl. But a live tweet of a horrific date just revealed the painful truth. She's been catfished by a three-timing jerk of a boyfriend. Suddenly, Samir, Samia, along with his two other girlfriends, London and Taylor, have gone viral online. Now the three new besties are making a pact to spend the next six months investing in themselves, no men and no dating. For once, Samia's putting herself first, and that includes finally developing the app she's always dreamed of creating. I love this, girls in tech. Y'all know I love girls in tech or women in tech, which is the exact moment she meets the deliciously sexy Daniel Collins at work. What are the chances? Mm. But is Daniel really boyfriend material or is he maybe just a little too good to be true? Okay, this looks cute, light, fluffy, fun. Let's see how it goes, adding it to my shelf. Now we get to the big box and I already held it up three times trying to take this thumbnail so I really really pray to God and sweet baby Jesus above that this thumbnail pick came out because this box is heavy AF. I'm going to try to hold it up again for you all so you can see the magnitude, the sheer magnitude. I bought so many books. I don't regret it at all. Oh my god. Oh it's heavy AF. Look at this. Look at this. I'm gonna hold it right here in case I need to take the screen capture for my, <laughs> for my thumbnail. Okay, dramatics aside. Oh, oh, this is my workout of the day. Okay, so we're gonna open the box. Usually I show y'all how I open it. I cannot hold this up and open it. So y'all are just gonna have to have some ASMR sounds. Use your imagination. <laughs> oh my god, let me not hurt myself. <sighs> okay, the box is almost open. It's mostly open. It's open! It's open! Okay, okay. So now y'all, now y'all, hmm, y'all know how Book Outlet loves to do. They send you their obligatory itemized receipt. They always fill their boxes up with mad paper. Right on top, ah, I have the next in the, um, gosh, what is the series? Field Lights Friday, a field party, there we go. Series, Losing the Field. I'm trying to collect all of them, even though I haven't read any of them, but this series is by Abby Glines, and whenever I see them, sorry, I keep looking behind because the other books are back here somewhere, but whenever I see another book in this series, I just pick it up because like I said, I'm collecting them. Oh, they're down here by my booty. Okay, so I have no idea where this goes in the series. This is gonna be a very interesting video to edit. I'm just gonna flip it right down here. I like this spot for filming. This might be the new, this might be the new Steez. These are, I'm gonna do a bookshelf tour at some point, but these are like my children's books to classics to adult slash young adult to romance to this is gonna be my Harry Potter shelf y'all didn't care about that you're here for the book haul continuing on I also have the next book in the last M Sarah series this is the caged queen and this is by Kristen Siccarelli so again this is the next book in the series I love anything fantasy as y'all know and no, I have not yet read The Last Damn Sarah, but it's definitely on my list for this winter, fall time. Um, since I'm trying to read, you know, all of my pre... I'm trying to read all of my pre-orders and highly anticipated releases from the past two years. So this was... The Last Damn Sarah was one of them when it came out. 
Uh, so yeah, I wanted to connect, collect the next book in the series because there's nothing worse than starting a series and you only have the first book. And let's say the other books are out and you don't have it readily available to just dive into. So then whenever you do end up getting it, sometimes it's been so long you've forgotten the details from the first book. It's annoying. Don't like it. So we add this to the shelf. I will find the other book at some point. And then again, this is another book that was on my shelf. Um, it's another series. And let me go grab the first book. Un momento. I feel so silly. I feel so silly. The first book is, was here the whole time, down here, from when I reorganized my bookshelves. So I got this in another book outlet haul some point last year because I really was drawn to the cover and to the story. And it's called The Feast of Roses by Indu Sundaresan. And I went to read it one day when I realized that this was actually a second book. And I hadn't, I didn't have the first book. So of course I felt like a complete fool. So I realized that I needed to grab the first book and I finally got it in this recent book outlet order. And this is The 20th Wife, which is the first book. And so, ooh. Y'all see this? Let's get the camera to focus, if it will. For whatever reason, it won't focus on it, but this is an autographed copy. Hmm. I was not expecting that at all. Where's the autograph? It's right here. It's showing up white, isn't it? This is an autographed copy. Can't talk. This is an autograph, graft, auto. <sighs> this is an autographed copy. I did not see this coming. That's so nice. Okay, so now I have the first book so I can finally start this. Very exciting. Put that on the shelf. Oh. Okay, so the next book is a children's book that I have had my eye on for years and it's been in my Amazon cart saved for later section for a super long time. So when I saw it on Book Outlet, I knew I had to grab it and this is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill so I think that this is gonna be a great addition to my children's book collection it's a John Newberry Medal Award winner and I've heard nothing but delightful things about this children's book so I'm super excited to have it it says there is magic in starlight of course this is well known moonlight however that is a different story moonlight is magic ask anyone you like so finally have my hands on this one very exciting add it to my children's bookshelf right here and the next book i have is another like next book in a series where i already own the first book and this is uh furthermore by tehera mafi which um is the next book i don't even know what the name of this series is it's like a children's uh no middle grade series that she has so this is just the next book i remember the first book so amazingly beautifully illustrated and this next book is no exception i love the illustrations i wish y'all would be able to see this but you probably won't because of the lighting which is very unfortunate but yes i'm super excited for this and Okay, I think this is a retelling of Alice in Wonderland, I think. Huh. I'm trying to figure it out because usually when a book is the next book in a series, it'll have like the first book in front of it. Like in the front, it'll tell you, oh, this is, was the first book, but that's not the case. So now I'm confused. Okay, I got it completely wrong. So Witchwood, which is the book I own, is actually a companion to this book, Furthermore. So Furthermore came first and then Witchwood. Whew, girl, get it together. Either way, it's going on my children's bookshelf. I need to find Witchwood so I can put them together. Bing! 16 minutes into this video, <laughs> we've gotten nowhere. All right, next up is a special edition of Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. And I really wanted this edition when I saw it on Book Outlet. I, it's hard to explain because the um, camera is not showing it very well, but it's kind of like, I wouldn't say it's like leather, but it's definitely like a leathery, like a fake leathery 
feel to it, texture. Obviously it's pink. This is by Paper Mill Press this edition and yeah sense and sensibility is probably my favorite jane austen novel slash story objectively so i really wanted this edition and now i have it very exciting i can add it to my classic shelf although i probably will need to make some room place it right there um i also picked up the pride and prejudice edition as well same leathery like faux leathery material um also by paper mill press um yeah it's just beautiful and i'm happy to have them both side by side there next up to show y'all i have the wonderful wizard of oz and this of course is by l frank Baum. now i have always always wanted a copy of the wizard of oz it's one of my favorite films um especially with its adaptation the wiz a classic i love the whole canon so i'm happy to finally have a copy i do need to take this little price sticker off it's driving me insane again this material is like a faux leathery it's a little dirty looks like it's been in that warehouse for a minute I'll wipe it off there but it's like a faux leathery um type of material i'm gonna take off this price tag too on the back another paper mill press edition and it's a lot shorter than i thought it was gonna be there is like a little ribbon folded in here um that i'm gonna keep in here for now see the little ribbon in there the red ribbon I'm gonna keep that in there for now I'm gonna place that right next to its companions and then I think this was the last paper mill press edition I got it's gonna be hard for y'all to see because it's white but this is Jane Eyre uh, by Charlotte Bronte again I'm just gonna take off this price sticker and if I can you know do like a close-up for it and insert into the video if I'm not completely lazy I will but yes same material same presentation just white beautiful i will place it right here and then i am a crazy person before i show you all this book i am completely insane and am collecting the uh throne of glass series in paperback and in hardback because i'm insane the reasoning for this is when i bought the first three books i think it was the first three books in the throne of glass series they were already out and so i had an option of either getting the hardbacks or the paperbacks and i detest reading hardbacks i actually really really do i prefer paperbacks by far but it's like they don't come out at the same time in america so who has time to wait for the paperback, paperback version to come out of most young adult books I'm gonna go for the hardback because I, I need the book in my hands now but if the books have already been out and I have the option I'm definitely gonna get the paperback so I bought the paperbacks from Barnes & Noble and then of course I fell in love with the series and as the subsequent books came out I pre-ordered them and received them in hardbacks so it's incidentally I now had half of the series in paperback and the rest of the series in hardback and if you know me you know that drives me insane so now i am going to finish collecting the series in paperback and then those lone hardbacks are probably going to drive me insane so i'm either going to give them away or i'm going to collect the first books in the series in hardback so i can match all the way around i know i'm a crazy person we already know this <laughs> without much further ado here we are with kingdom of ash and i'm going to take this sticker off looks like this was a target book before it made its way to book outlet huh oh these target stickers are the devil i still have a book that has the target sticker on because that's how hard it was to take off without damaging the book cover there we go still a little bit sticky but we can figure out that out with alcohol kingdom of ash sarah j mass i have the paperback version this is definitely going to make my reading experience a lot easier and yes i do still need to finish the series don't judge me so I will add that right here and then I have the next book in the and I darken series now I rise I had to collect it because I did start reading and I darken and I am not through with it yet but I knew I was gonna want to have that next book on hand so that's pretty much why I got it it is a little dusty 
we will dust it off in a moment but here we go by Kirsten White or is it Kristen White Kirsten I was right the first time all right so next up in the box I have another field party novel and this is after the game again not sure where this goes in the series I will figure that out after filming so I'm just gonna slot that down here next to its brethren there we go and next up I have Jerusalem's Queen by Angela Hunt and this is a novel of Salome Alexandra the silent years so this is a book I picked up completely on a whim on book outlet obviously while I was making this order and it just appealed to me because this was during the time in quarantine early quarantine when I was obsessed with biblical based novels like books that were based on Bible stories and Bible books if you follow me on bookstagram then you know what was up but yes so I was looking for more stories around this time period and about the same you know biblical heroes and subject matter so I saw this and I completely was intrigued and essentially it is her rise to the throne defied expectations and then she proved to be one of Judea's greatest rulers born in the small village of Modin a place made famous by the warrior Maccabees Salome Alexandra knows better than to harbor grand dreams for her future. She pales in comparison to her beautiful older sister, and though she learns to read at an early age, girls are not valued for their intellectual ability. However, when her father and sister are killed, John Hi Hierarchus, hmm, a distant relative, invites Salome and her mother, I think it's Salome, to live with his family in Jerusalem where her thirst for knowledge is noticed and indulged. When her guardian betrothes her to a pagan prince, she questions Hashem's plan. I'm guessing Hashem is God. When Herakonis finally marries her to a boy half her age, she questions her guardian's sanity. Though Salome Alexandra spends much of her life as a pawn ordered about by powerful men, she learns that a woman committed to Hashem can change the world. Ah, so excited for this. Mm -mm -mm. All right slot that down here all right so next I have a box set before you judge me I don't know where my copies of these books went it's almost like every time I move I lose books and I don't know where they went and I feel like they go into a black hole where all books go to live when people move it's like another dimension filled with just people's people's like cherished books that they can't find because they moved I really do feel like a portal opens up that's the only explanation but I couldn't find these books in my collection I know I had bought them before they were on book outlet for relatively cheap so I bought them again and that is the shatter me series people yes because I do finally um, have the last books in the series and she's finally done with the shatter me series and so I want to reread the first three books so that I can finally finish the series with these new books that she's been coming out with the last couple years. So here we are with Shatter Me, Unravel Me, and Ignite Me in their little box set perfection. What we've always wanted. Mm -mm -mm. Love it. I will put this box set right here. I'm not going to take the books out. We all know what they look like. And the next book I have is a young adult book that I've heard good things about, and that is Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Choi. So, um, Rainbow Rowell blurbed it as smart and funny with characters so real and vulnerable, you want to send them care packages. I loved this book. Yeah, a lot of people really enjoy this book, so I wanted to pick it up and see what all the hype was about. Plus, it's going to go great when I'm in my my complete you know element this summer the summer is usually when i read my contemporary and my young adult contemporaries specifically so when i am just thriving this summer and by thriving i mean staying indoors and not going outside because uh pandemic i'm gonna be able to pick this up and really you know enjoy it hopefully put that right next to the others and next up i have a book that I can't believe I picked up but I've heard so many positive things about it online that I've decided I'm gonna give this author another chance y'all know that I tried to read her first book and I DNF'd it 
and now looking back I don't know if I DNF'd it because I genuinely thought it was boring because I, I did when I was reading it I thought it was boring and didn't like it or if I just wasn't in the right headspace to read the book at the time because I was in a in a place in my life that just wasn't the greatest when I tried to read that book but I've heard so many great things about this book which is the second book that this author has come out with that I've decided to give this author a second chance and this author is Margaret Rogerson and this is her second book Sorcery of Thorns y'all know I DNF'd Enchantment of Ravens but I might actually pick it up again now that I'm in a better place in my life and I'm happier and see if I like it more this time around or if I just don't like it and I'm also going to give Sorcery of Thorns a chance because a lot of people who I respect their opinion and taste in books have loved it. So I had to do it. I'm going to take this price sticker off. You know what's up already. This is a Walmart book. <coughs> the dogs bark because, well, they're dogs. Oh no, this is going to be a hard one to take off. And it's right in the middle of her face too. Okay, I will figure this out with some alcohol later. Oh, let me put it down here. Y'all can even see, can you? All right, so this haul is almost done. Oh, I have another paper mill press book. I'm just taking the sticker off. Another white one, so you won't be able to really see it. But this is Great Expectations, which is one of my favorite Charles Dickens novels. Same material, same everything. It's the same special edition as the other ones. This one's a little dirty, but that's to be expected when you order from Book Outlet. I'm gonna place it, I want y'all to see it. Can you see it? Probably not. My camera overheated. <laughs> Yay! But it's okay because this book haul is almost over. Let me adjust this angle. Here we are. Okay. So I lied. I have another. Dang, I went ham on these paper mill press editions, didn't I? I I really I, I did. This is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. And I will add it to the viewing pleasure, okay? It's gonna go right there. Let me put her, put it right there. Mm. Oh my God, I went ham. <laughs> this is Emma by Jane Austen. <laughs> I feel like this one's a little dirty. I'm gonna have to clean this one up a bit. I feel like I just lost my shit. Yeah, this one's a little dirty. It's been sitting in the warehouse for too long, huh? Again, we'll take off the price tag. Don't like price tags. Oh my God, this one's gonna be hard to take off. Oh my gosh, my foot fell asleep. How, how, how? This is what I go through to fill a book haul for y'all. Should I bring book hauls back? How do y'all feel about that? Okay, this, this sticker staying on for right now. Okay, I'm gonna go with my other Jane Austens. Let's see if I can take off this one. Okay, this one's a little bit, yeah, there we go. All right, and last, but certainly not least, ah, 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 Morgan Matson saved the date. You have no idea how long I waited to purchase this. It's a little shocking that I didn't pre-order this book. Okay, I have no idea where my camera cut off. It ran out of, it ran out of memory space struggling we struggling okay but this is the last and final book this is save the date by morgan matson now i went on um a whole spiel about how i really waited to order this book which is shocking because i adore morgan matson she is one of my favorite contemporary young adult writers and i've read everything that she's put out thus far thus far and loved it and i don't believe that this will be an exception to that rule um, I did show y'all the book cover, so I will show it again. Um, we have some shit going down on the front. Doesn't look, doesn't look too good. On the inside cover, we have an illustration here. It says Grant Central Station, and it's initialed by Eleanor Grant as the illustrator. You probably won't be able to really see it very well with this lighting. And then we have the same girl from the front holding a dog, cute little pup. Yeah, so on the back, it simply says, Charlie's sister is getting married. Everyone is coming home, all her older siblings. It'll be just like it used to be. 
one last weekend together before her before her parents sell the house. Charlie doesn't want to think about college next year or changing things. She just wants to make this a perfect weekend. What could go wrong? Famous last words, am I right? Well, first the wedding planner quits. Then the house alarm won't stop going off. Charlie's biggest crush shows up unannounced. There is a missing tuxedo, an unexpected dog, and a neighbor bent on destruction. Not to mention, the event planner's assistant, assistant <laughs> who is surprisingly, distractingly cute. And that's before things get really crazy. In all the chaos, Charlie will learn more than she ever expected about the family she thought she knew by heart. And she'll keep, mm, and she'll realize that sometimes trying to keep everything, yes, trying to keep everything like it was in the past means missing out on the future. So yes, gonna be cute, can't wait, summertime read for sure. Morgan Matson never lets me down. Am I gonna do that thing where I hold up all the books? I don't really want to. I'll hold some of them up. I will, I'll hold some of them up. Not all of them, Lord child, no. Mm -mm. Okay, I'll hold up the ones that I put over here. Didn't think that through when I was putting them back on that shelf, did I? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Okay. Here is not even half of my book haul, but you get the point. You get the satisfaction. You know, it's like if you don't hold up all the books at the end of the video, is it even a book haul? I don't know. I'm not sure. And they always fall. They always fall. All right, putting them back. All right, everybody, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for stopping by, checking out my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome to the Oshi Reads fam. Please subscribe, thumbs up to this video, or like this video if you liked it. And I will catch y'all in these internet streets. Follow me on my bookstagram. I will link that right now. And I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye. Bye, y'all. <laughs>